Okay, let's go out of local mode by pressing slash. Then I'm going to delete the meta rig and the rig. Just delete them. And let's select this a simple uh, armature that I selected and go to pose mode. And then I'm going to just get rid of these uh, custom shapes. And still in pose mode, let's uh, set a rig type for these bones so that uh, Rigify can use them. Maybe this can be a, a basic super copy. This one, let's say a p basic pivot, and this can be a tentacle. I'm going to delete this custom shape. I don't need it. And let's just let's just hit generate and see what happens. You can see that. Rigify did create three buttons for me, however they are not labeled in any way. But still if I expand skeleton and if I play with, with them you can see that they do hide and unhide the layers. So the functionality is there is just not uh, set up in a way that it that's useful. So let's try to do that. Let's go to, to the to the meta rig, then to pose mode, expand the bone groups and the rigify layer names. And right now you can see that they're empty. You can click this under Bone Groups, Rigify Bone Groups. You can press the Add Standard button. And this will give us the same colors as uh, we just saw on the uh, pre-built meta rig. And generally I just work with, with those. You can add more if you want it. So there's this uh, Theme button and you can click Add from Theme and then another one will pop up. Uh, the problem here is that I haven't found a way to remove uh, this uh, group once once you've edited it. Uh, you can kind of remove all of them and then click Add Standard again. We are just going to work with those sta those standard ones. And so let's uh, close this uh, area and focus on the Rigify layer names. As you can see, currently we have nothing here except for for this button. And let's click it. I honestly don't understand why it's set up like this. I think clicking this button is just redundant. But anyway, let's do that. And right now I have a, my, this bone on the first layer, this one on the second layer, and these bones here are on the third layer. And generally what uh, Rigify does is it will preserve the placement, the layer of your bones. But that's not all. For some bones, for example the tentacle, in the Rigify tab type options, you'll have an option to, to set up a layer for some of the additional controls that are created for that rig type. So in this case, my tentacle will be on the third layer and some tweak layers will appear on the, on the second layer. On the second layer, I also already have this, this bone, which is my a pivot preset. I don't want to have this la uh, this bone and this uh, and the tentacle tweak bones on the same layer. So let's select the tentacle, the first bone of the tentacle, and deselect by shift clicking this uh, layer and then select the the fourth one. So now what I expect to happen is that this bone, which is a simple super copy, will be generated on the first layer. This will also is currently on the second layer, and so in the final rig it, it will also be on the second layer. And the, the tentacle is on the third layer. So the main controls for the tentacle will stay on the third layer, but some additional controls, the tweak bones, will be on the fourth layer, because that's how I set it up. So let's go to, to the armature tab and see what we have here. So I expect my super copy to be on the first layer. So let's uh, in the name field type super copy. The pivot preset will be on the second layer. So let's call the second one pivot. And the third one will be for uh, reserved for the tentacle. And let's call it tentacle main. And the fourth one I'll call tentacle tweak. Okay, if I expand that. I can see the, the actual names. Uh, this row I, I'm going to touch in a second. This I'm just going to skip as I said and let's uh, set up the bone groups. So let's try to preserve these uh, colors that I set up for, for my meta rig. Uh, so I see that special bones number three are yellow so let's 
set the bone group for the super copy to 3. This text will change to special, so I can verify that this is yellow. Uh, the pivot I want to keep red, so that's the IK group. Let's change this um, bone group to 2. Tentacle is currently blue, so let's give it the tweak a bone group 4. And if you want to use Rigify as it is designed to do, then this layer, which is the tweak layer, should be set to 4. But here we're just playing around, so let's set it to, to extra, so 6. Okay, and with that, we can generate our rig, go to pose mode, and let's isolate it. And as you can see, my, uh, my super copy is yellow. If I select it, it becomes uh, blue, so let's, let's select something else. So super copy is yellow, the pivot is red as I set it up, the main bones of the tentacle are blue, and the twig bones have, have the color, the, I think it was the special color that we set up. And over here I can see that uh, I also have this menu generated, which is really nice. If I expand it, I can see the text properly. So as exactly as we set it up, this is uh, the super copy, and if I click it, it will hide my super copy, then if I click it again, it will show it. Uh, the pivot sh hides and shows the pivot. Uh, tentacle main hides and shows these main controls for the, for the tentacle. And uh, the tweak, uh, tweak button uh, hides and shows the tweak, the tweak controls. And so the only thing I don't like is the way this um, menu is laid out. All the uh, buttons are just on one row, so I, if I have this um, menu contracted like this, I don't want to waste too much screen real estate with, with uh, this end panel. So let's try to fix this. Let's go out of local mode, select, I go to object mode, select the armature, which is my meta rig. Let's rename it, meta rig. And in the meta rig, go to the rigify layer names again. And these numbers here is how you organize your uh, final uh, layers menu. This says UI row. As you can probably guess, this number defines on which row we are going to display each button. Let's keep the super copy on the first row, and then the pivot I'll set to the second, and the tentacle, let's keep them together. So I'm going to set this one, the main tentacle um, layer to three, and um, the tweak also to three. And then let's generate the rig and see what happens. Uh, what happened is, we organized our menu in a nicer way. So now you should be able to, to create a layer menu and also set up the custom colors for your control bones. In the next exercise, I'm going to take this a little bit further and let's uh, take this uh, weird guy with three arms that we rigged earlier and try to uh, set up bone groups and uh, layer names for him as well.